everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish and a reviewing year to date tracking here for the Stock Swish Show Live Trading Room. This is with an advanced trader amount of risk, which is approximately 2,000. Really nice start to the year. Um, halfway through the year here, almost uh, June 20th. So we'll see what the rest of the year brings. But very happy, good solid week here. Year to date results after today. Again, it's Thursday, June 20th, 272,891. So let's go over all the trades from the beginning of this year. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So July starts the next earnings season. And in the next earnings season, that is the time. That is the time to make a lot of money. And actually the irony is that, you know, today was a really good day. Yesterday was a really good day. You can still get really quality trades in non-earnings season, but you just have to be pickier. So I find that I tend to be more focused in, you know, in these periods here where you have to be careful. But during earnings season, for those of you that aren't familiar, you get many, 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 many gaps. So I might have to get up earlier in the morning during earnings season to be looking at, you know, 30 gaps that I might have to rate. So uh, nowadays, again, I might look at three or four, maybe five in non earnings season. But earnings season begins in July, and you have all the big corporations that report their earnings, and it will be a great, great time to trade. Because you make money in the market trading volatility and momentum. All right, that's how you make money, and you gotta get it in the right direction. So to start off the year, January off, SPY, first trade loser, second one winner. The year, January is very bullish for the market, and we did do the market quite a number of days. Uh, then I was sick. 9th through 11th, Lulu was a winner on the 14th, Netflix was a winner on the 15th, 17th, Sing was three trades, first one loser, second and third one winner, AXP was a loser on the 18th, QQQs was a winner, market closed the 21st, 22nd was SWK, which was a nice gap, COF was a winner on the 23rd, 24th was MKC, was a loser, QQQs winner, Starbucks was a winner on the 25th, CAT was a winner on the 28th, the 29th was GME, a nice winner. 30th, T, first trade failed, second one worked. Q was a, QQQs was a loser, but then the second trade worked in the Qs and the SPY, and that was then a solid, solid move on that day. The 31st, X was a winner, QQQs was a winner, and V was a loser. No trades on the first and fourth. Fifth off, EA was a loser, Twitter was a winner. Carb, first trade lost, second one won. No trades on the 11th. UAA, first trade lost. Guild was a winner, SPY was a winner. Tiva was a loser on the 13th. SPY was a loser, first trade, second one winner. NTAP was a loser completely on both trades on the 14th. MGM was a winner, Cisco was a loser on the 14th. SPY was a winner on the 15th. Market closed on the 18th, WMT was a winner. 20th, CVS, first trade loss, second one won. 21st, DPZ was a nice winner. KHC was a winner, room closed on the 25th. CAT was a loser and HD was a loser and SJM was a loser on the 26th. 27th was WTW, nice winner, and HPQ, which was a nice winner. SPY, first trade loser, second one winner on March 1st. QQQs was a winner, TV day off on the 5th. TRIP, first trade loser, Target, first trade loser, second one winner. KR was a winner on the 7th. Cost was a nice gap. First trade loss, second one won on the 8th. No trades on the 11th. Stitch fix did not work at all as a gap. Both of those trades lost. 13th off. DG, first trade loser, second one winner. And no trades on the 15th. OSTK, first trade was a loser. Spy, next, next one didn't work out either. Facebook then was a nice winner on the 18th. DSW was a winner, FDX was a wild one. First trade loser, second one winner, and third trade loser on the 20th. 21st was GES that lost, CSIQ was a winner, Nike was a winner on the 22nd. 25th, no trades, and the 26th was a TV day off. On the 27th, Len lost the first trade, second and third won one. That was a really wild move. 28th was Lulu, won. 29th off. April 1st was the SPY winner. WBA, first trade lost. Second trade lost. Third trade won in WBA. And QQQs was a winner. 4-3, QQQs was a winner. SPY winner. 
and then fourth, fifth off. BA was a winner on the eighth. Then on the ninth, BA lost. Disney won. Disney's been a really nice gap this year. On the tenth, two trades in Disney stopped. QQQs was a winner. Spy was a winner. It was an active day. On April 11th, BBBY lost. WTW was a big winner. It was on the 11th. The 12th, Disney, two trades winners. 15th, QQQs lost. And then second trade won. Disney, first trade lost. Second trade won. Then the 16th, the QQQs were break even. And BAC was a winner. On the 17th, IBM lost. QQQs lost. Second trade small winner. And Apple was a big winner on the 17th. Then 18th, 19th, room closed. 22nd was Apple. And Facebook was a winner. Twitter was a winner on the 23rd. 24th, two trades in IBT, big winners. Uh, 25th was Mo was a winner. MMM was a loser. XLNX, two big trades. Really nice gap. 426 INTC was a loser and WDC was a winner. No trades on the 29th. 430 was GLW lost. Y lost. MGM, two trades, both worked. Apple was a big winner on the first that was earnings. Second of May was HLF. Both trades failed. The third was ATVI. First trade lost. FTNT lost. QQQs and the SPY were winners on the third. Fast, first trade loser. Second one was Nike. That was a winner. SPY on the seventh, two big winners. Nice move. The eighth was ZDD, which was a winner. Ninth was QQQs and SPY, both winners. Tenth was SYMC, which lost, and the SPY, which won. Thirteenth was the SPY was a winner, and TIVA was a winner. Fourteenth, no trades. Fifteenth was TIVA winner, SPY loser. SWKS was a winner, and Baidu was a big winner on the 17th. Baidu again winner on the 20th, two trades. Baidu was a big win for May. 21st was KSS, which was a winner. 22nd, Low was a winner, both trades. Baidu another winner, and JWN winner. And QQQs was a winner on the 23rd. Off for Memorial Day. Then June started out, nice trade in Facebook. Winner, fourth TV day, off. Six, five was no trades. Baidu was a loser. AEO was a winner on the sixth. Domo was a winner on the seventh. Tenth, Lily was a winner. CRM was a winner. HDS was a loser on the 11th. Lily was a big winner on the 11th. That was like a really good gap that week. 12th, QQQ's break even. Facebook, nice winner. Facebook was a loser on the 13th. Twitter was a winner. 14th, ABGO lost. Q's was break even. No trades on the Monday, the 17th. And then the 18th was Disney lost and Hib won. And Adobe was a good winner on the 19th. And then, of course, today, CCL was a winner on the 20th. So people ask, you know, how much money do you need to trade? You need a minimum today trade actively. So in a prop account, 2,500. In a retail account, 25,000. An advanced trader risk would be around $2,000, okay? So you don't have to risk $2,000. You could risk $100 per trade. Whatever you risk, you have to be able to afford according to the size of your cash account. But you can trade with a proprietary day trading account, an actively day trade with an account with $2,500. And usually then your margin is 10 to 1. So you have about $25,000 in margin. So if you're thinking about day trading and you want to do this for a living and you want to learn, I teach a class once a month and you can come learn my method and then you would be eligible to join the live trading room and get all the calls that I just went over. And I call the trades live in the room, the entry, the stop, the exit. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. Next class is, this is the last class before earnings season, which starts in July, June 22nd and 23rd from 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99. The class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. If you are interested, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com to sign up. I would register to make sure you get in before the deadline. The deadline is the 21st, and it is going to be a great rest of the year. The first part of 2019 has been fantastic, and I'm looking forward to continuing the rest of 2019 to be very profitable, if not so, the same more. And I have been very focused, and I will continue to be focused. Okay? Any questions? Email me. Have a great day, everyone.